Fry's story is a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit, filled with moments of both profound struggle and remarkable triumph. The book provides practical advice and encouragement to others facing health issues. She says her inspiration to write the book was to inspire others and serve as a beacon of hope, reminding readers to maintain faith no matter the adversity. Coming up with these um, personal ordeals, um, it, you know, I've, I've thought about it a lot and seeing that there's so many young girls who are suffering. There's so many women who are going through um, a lot of um, illnesses and they are not getting support from either their families or their husbands and especially women who are having infertility problems. Um, they get to be, um, you know, people don't ex accept them in society, especially if you are married and you don't get have children. You really need the support from your families, especially your husband. I had a very supportive system from my family, especially my husband, my husband's family. There was not a day when they make me feel as if I'm not welcome in the family despite my uh, chronic uh, or severe endometriosis that I had suffered for many years. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got so many girls who are going through this and they need that encouragement. And what I also thought is how, do, how, how are these poor girls, how do they get support if they don't have even medical aid and, you know, it's sometimes difficult to get uh, referred to a, um, a, specialist. Yeah, a specialist to look at these cases. Yeah. The book contains personal accounts. A significant part of Fry's story is also her experience with pregnancy. In June of 1998, after waiting for nine years in marriage to fall pregnant, she got the surprise of her life. However, five months into her motherhood journey, she tragically miscarried. This heartbreaking experience added another layer to her incredible journey of resilience and strength. She later received both her children through surgeries in November of 2002 and January 2005, marking precious moments in her life amidst her health battles. Uh, one thing, uh, when I discovered writing this book. Uh, it brought a lot of emotions, a lot of pain that I went through, and a lot of, um, it reminded me a lot going back to the pains, and it was one of the healing process that I enjoyed when I wrote, wrote this book. And being a mother, is, it, it was not an easy uh, thing to go through, uh, because you have to think about your children. They were still very small when I started getting sick. You think what is going through the back of their minds and, you know, but the faith. I, have, I, I always had to encourage them to be positive, to have that faith. And I'm also having the faith in God and the strength that I, I, I'm going to, no matter what I'm going through, I'll make it. The executive director of the health ministry, Ben Nangumbe, who officiated at the book launch said Fry's journey is a testament to the successes within the public health sector. Nangombe encouraged those going through the same predicaments to speak out and seek help from the capable state facilities. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.